Are we on? <laughs> Are we good? I think we're good. Here we go. Hey, Cards fans. My name's Emily Jewell. I'm Courtney Robinson. And we're here to tell you about our next three days of preseason. We just had an off day yesterday, so we were back at it this morning at 7 a.m. with uh, Zach cooking us a nice breakfast. and uh, Really good breakfast. It was really good. We had some blueberry protein shake, I think. Was yeah, it? with like some spinach some in kale, it. kale, all that good nutrients to get us going. Um, so yeah, it was, a good, it was a fun morning. Why don't you tell us about Court Dog? Well, after we had our delicious breakfast by Zach Farrell, we um, were blessed with the presence of Ann's dad. And for those of you who don't know him, his name is Ron Cordes. He coaches at Assumption, and he's the director of Kiva. And for the people that don't know who Ron is, he is um, a large man. He has quite quite the stomach, like, ooh, way out there. Not like those Mava girls, though. No. Yeah, he's trained a lot of good Kiva people. <laughs> right here, right here. So anyway, Ron walks in with his large stomach, and as he's walking to give Ann a hug, I was like, Ron, you and Ann have matching stomachs. You're both huge. Ann's pregnant, for those who don't know. Yeah, she's going to have a little baby girl in the middle of the season, so for all you fans coming out, she's not going to be her little self like she normally is. She's going to have a little bit of a boom. A little bit of a mountain right there. Mary Belinda will be arriving in November. November 4th, to be exact. Yeah, we have the day plan, actually. It's it doesn't, like, just happen. Like, labor, just, there's baby. Nope. We're planning it. She's scheduled for an off day. She's a true team player, that's for sure. Taking one for the team. Yeah. So, yeah, Ron and Ann have matching stomachs now. So, you'll have to check that out <laughs> here in the next coming uh, weeks when we have a game. Don't worry. She'll still be wearing her stilettos. That's not going to stop her. Even though she has bunions. Um, this mor- or actually this morning and this afternoon, Anne was actually complaining about the gym being too hot. Oh, yeah. She um, likes to turn no, the heat No, no, no. It was too cold. too cold. It was too cold. It was too cold for her. She's like, she has more insulation than all of us, and yet she was still cold. I don't know how. It was probably like 75 degrees. We're all sweating. Every, like, point, we're wiping it up. I, I don't know how it happened, but she yeah. was cold. She seems to do that. So, yeah. Oh, tell them about um, Katie in the training room today. Katie oh, George. Okay, Katie had her first massage experience with our new trainer, Nicole. Um, she worked on her IT bands. So for those of you who don't know exactly where that is, it's on the side of your quad. Katie thought she was going to get this nice massage on her quads and just feel really good, ready to go for the second session. And I look over there, and she's making these faces. Uh, ah. She's, like, jumping around and, like, kicking her legs up everywhere. Like, she, I think her comment was, Nicole, like, for such tiny hands... This hurts really bad. She wasn't her pretty self like she normally is. Not the pretty no. Katie face. No. Um, what else? Oh, today. I had a little bit of an incident today. Um, so, me and Hannah had a little bit of a fight today. Hannah Kavitley, our junior setter. Love her. We're good now. We're, we're happy now. But, so we're in the ice bath. And for those of you who don't know, the ice bath is like 48 degrees. It's super cold. So, when you get out, your legs are like numb. So, unfortunately, um, I've been a little gassy the past couple days um, at practice, and yeah, kind of smells bad. (laughs) It seems to be going on with the whole team, so no worries. So anyway, um, I'm standing in the ice bath, and Hannah's in the ice bath beside me, and Hannah said, Courtney, please do not pass gas on me because it smells. So obviously, being the good teammate I am, I was like, I'm going to try not to do that, Hannah. Unfortunately, it didn't work out that way. I accidentally farted (laughs) on her, but I thought it was funny. Personally, thought it was funny. Hannah didn't find it funny. So when I got out of the ice bath, she whipped me, with a towel in my legs, like took the whole towel, whip right on my legs. It hurt so bad. So obviously <laughs> I'm not happy about it. So we're at dinner and Hannah is trying to talk to me. And I was like, Hannah, really, I just want to punch you in the face because you really hurt me. So we had this huge battle and she was like, you won't punch me in the face. And I was like, I will punch you in the face. She's like, no, you won't. Yes, I will. So we went back and forth. Long story short, <laughs> I didn't punch her in the face because that would be mean. But I really wanted to, but we're just, we're all good now. Everyone's happy. It's all good, so Courtney and Hannah are no longer in a fight, so when you see us out on the court, everything will be okay now. We did have a really, really good dinner, though. Chicken was on point. Was on point. We ate at the U Club, which is where, like, all the alums go. It's really <laughs> nice. I think that's where they go. It was really <laughs> nice. Um, for lunch today, though, we were at what's called the Ville Grill, which is where all the um, students on campus We'll go during the school year, um, but it's not open all the time. So we went today for lunch, um, and we were just talking about food in general, and Zach was helping us trying to figure out what healthy meals are and what to get, what not to get. So we were talking about Qdoba, 
And it's our favorite place because everybody like everybody on our team loves it, and everybody gets a naked burrito because that's the healthiest, obviously. Um, so Zach was telling us everything we need to put in it, and the one number one rule was no cheese. Like, don't put cheese in, no matter what. Tied so back. one of our I can't remember who it was, but one of our very intelligent teammates asked about queso, like if that was acceptable. Of course, you can't put queso in. He spent five minutes talking about no cheese. He even said, "I mean, come on, what's?" What's the Spanish word queso mean? Courtney, what does it mean? It means cheese. However, I was <laughs> not aware. Courtney just found that out today. She couldn't even use the context clues to figure it out. Who? Like, she just had no idea. She still doesn't know. I'm a sign language major. I don't <laughs> speak. I just I just sign. That's what I do. I didn't know Spanish meant cheese. What's, what's the sign language thing for cheese? Spanish? Cheese. Cheese. Here's a new one. This is cheese in sign language. Not queso in Spanish. <laughs> cheese. I didn't know that. Okay? So... And I'm not dumb like everyone thinks. You learn something new every day. Thanks to Zach. Yes. To finish this off, we will tell you about in between our two practices, we have like an hour and a half break, two hour break where everyone is like so excited to take a nap because we finally get to rest. So we're coming back from the whole cheese situation, you know, and we're all excited about who's going to sleep where in our couches and our locker room because our coaches bought us some super nice couches. They're awesome in there. We love them. Leather recliners. Yeah. They're, they're awesome. So we're all like figuring out where we're going to go for our couches. And we walk in there and it's pitch black. And our manager is just sprawled out on the whole couch. And we're like, wow, this really puts a damper on things. It's okay though. It is okay. Tell them why. It's okay because one, she's awesome. Her name's Jesse Jessie McKenna. She's amazing. She does our laundry. She gets our food ready for us. She's like always on top of things and it's also okay because the girl works UPS she works from 12 to 4 a.m. not afternoon people a.m. and then she comes to practice at 7 a.m. and does practice with us from 7 until like 7 at night I don't know when the girl sleeps unless she just sleeps those two hours two hours in between she's awesome so we actually found other couches don't worry we all took our nap yeah it was good so um, one more shout out today. We had Jeff McAdams, who is our number one fan. He was at our practice today, um, the whole entire three hours, which he travels to all of our games, whether it's in California or Florida, New York, wherever. He'll be there. Never misses. He's awesome. He really is. So thanks, Jeff. Shout out, Jeff. Appreciate it. We love and you. For all you other Cards fans, we hope you keep watching our confessions. Um, confessionals. Confessionals. <laughs> <laughs> confessionals <laughs> obviously they're getting pretty dirty around here so uh hopefully no more fights break out let's hope so we love each other team team bonding <laughs> all right go cards go guys bye